video, I'm going to show you how you can use some of the privacy and security features of Blogger with your blog. This is my blog, EdTech and Teacher Ed, and I've already logged in. So I'm just going to click on Customize up here in the corner, which brings me to this page. This is considered my dashboard. It kind of gives me a chance to look at different parts of my blog and make different changes. I'm going to click on Settings, and then under Settings, I'm going to click on Comments. So here's where I can make some different decisions about who can comment and how I will control those comments. So if I look at this second option, it says who can comment. Right now I have anyone selected. That means anyone, even if they don't have an account on Google, even if I don't know them, can comment. The reason I have that selected and I feel safe with that is that I'm moderating comments. And I would suggest you do that if you're going to use it with your students. The nice thing about allowing anyone to comment is that now, if there's a parent, another teacher, another student, a grandparent, an aunt and uncle, another uh, expert in the field of whatever you might be studying or talking about in your blog, and they want to comment, they can. They don't need to have a special account or anything else. But, as we scroll down further, comment moderation, I say always. So no matter who comments, and whether it's appropriate or inappropriate, I'm going to moderate all comments, which means that anytime someone comments, a message will be sent to this address, my email, and it will let me see what they, com what they said in their comment, and at that point, I can determine whether I will allow it or not. And until I approve that comment, it will not show up on my blog. So I feel okay about allowing anyone to comment because I get to see what they're commenting. In addition, I've got the word verification activated. Now I'm going to click on this learn more to show you what I mean by word verification. You've probably seen this before when you've signed up for different accounts. I am required to type in this particular word, kind of a nonsense word, down here in the field before I can comment. So if I activate that in my blog, that means that when someone wants to leave a comment, not only do I get to moderate their comment, but they will have to type in some kind of word verification. Why do I require this? That means that it's an actual person commenting on my blog as opposed to someone using some kind of spamming software that goes around and randomly comments on blogs and clogs up your blog with, with senseless comments. So word verification is a good idea to use because it requires that it's a person actually commenting on your blog.